Today we will do a quick overview of normalizers capabilities to secure data in transit. While getting visibility into all the data at rest is critical for security analysts, there is still a missing piece on understanding how data is flowing between applications across the environment and all the data stores in the cloud accounts as well, which is what Normalize enables security teams to get visibility into with our data flow map. So this is a data flow map that is available to security teams within Normalize. What Normalize is displaying here is an inventory of applications and data stores across your cloud accounts. As you can see here, it's not just a straightforward inventory, but it's visibility into how is data moving between data stores and applications, what is the direction of that movement, and what exactly is the type of data exchanged. In this particular case, we see this application accessing domain name, email addresses, IP addresses, and MAC addresses from a notification data store. And it's, that piece is important because now we can trace the movement of data downstream as well, not just the initial access point, but also understand whoever is accessing data from a particular data store, are they then proliferating that data to other data stores. In this example, we see this particular application now is sending data to an external S3 bucket, and it is sending an AWS access key, a credit card number, which are definitely sensitive. It is sending data to other services that are third party, There's a domain name that is going out to a chat GPT service, and also an email address that is being logged into an external instance of Snowflake. There's other access of sensitive data that is happening and uh, other sharing with internal applications. But as we can see, that is not the end destination of that data. The downstream application is then communicating with other applications, which are then talking to an external entity like Salesforce and sharing email addresses, and also sharing information such as domain address and email address with a Dropbox as well. So this gives a comprehensive overview for security analysts around how is data moving, what exactly is that sensitive data that is going across to applications and data stores, and is it going to external entities outside of their cloud account as well. On the left fil section on filters here, analysts can quickly go in and also zero in on specific type of sensitive data that they care about. So this view right now is showing us all types of sensitive data that is flowing across the environment. If I want to focus in on only the data flows that are maybe looking at SSNs, I have the option as well. So analysts can quickly go in and see, is there sensitive information, PII, like SSN, that is going externally? In this case, that is not true. That is only being exchanged internally. Whereas something like a credit card, it is going out to an external S3 bucket. And AWS access key is mostly internal, but also there's an external access as well. So a lot of flexibility for analysts to pick and choose the types of sensitive data and monitor how that particular data is flowing as well. And just as a reminder, Normalize ships with more than 100 different entities or data classifiers out of the box. So you can do the sensitive data classification for data in transit without creating any new rules or fine tuning any policies. So to summarize, the data in transit capability allows all security teams to monitor and get visibility into data flows across their entire cloud environment, understand the direction in which data is moving, and also evaluate whether that data is moving externally outside of the cloud environment as well.